What's up, Beyblade fans? We managed to pick up Stellar Hyperion H8 from the Beyblade Burst Quad Strike series. This is going to be a brand new attacker in Quad Strike and uses some new designs. This is going to be right spin. It will move from attack to defense depending on if with the plus and non-plus attachment. This thing looks pretty sweet. It looks like it might have the 7 armor. It's got that DQ weight disc and then uh, I think a new driver combination that we haven't seen before, but I'm not 100% sure. We're going to have to see once we get into the box. Zazazi. All right, guys, this is what we got going on in the box. So we've got Stellar Hyperion. This is, of course, based off of Super Hyperion from the Takara products. It's got the gold side and the silver side. Uh, in it would usually be metal and rubber, but here both sides are plastic, and that's just what we got to live with with this quad strike life. We've got our seven armor looking pretty good, a little bit stylized. Seven works pretty well in quad strike because the weight difference in the cores isn't as high as it is in the Takara side, and so the split here is actually pretty decent, and I like it a lot. There's your QR code if you want to get that into your Beyblade Burst app and play around with this bay. It's pretty sweet. Our DQ weight disc is going to work really well with this design if we lock this into the right spin coordination it's putting weight points all around the outer side which is awesome and quite low down should be working pretty nice for our driver this is a brand new base that we have not seen before a very flat wide cone this very much reminds me of a base from the rise hypersphere style it very much feels like a hypersphere style base so we should see if it moves around hypersphere like the other base the defense style base we have gotten one of these before on an early release in quad drive this one works okay the it has a braking mechanism around a round ball joint should work pretty well i'm not too upset about that at all so let's lock that in together look at the size of that and the redness so we lock this all in as a solid bait we've got ourselves stellar hyperion let's take this thing into the arena and battle it out against the other bays that we have from quad strike if you're enjoying what you're watching don't forget to subscribe and hit that notify button so you can be notified on all the best Beyblade action. So here we have Stellar Hyperion that we're going to try out. It's in its attack mode right now with the plus attachment. Let's face it off against Zeal Achilles. Three, two, one. Oh, going crazy. Going crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. Sounds right. <laughs> oh, I'm wobbling. I lost a lot of potential. Oh, but I took it. Just at the end. All right. Three, two, one. Slamming each other up against the edges. Very aggressive. Oh, that went to you. Minor bit of rotation at the end. Three, two, one. Hit. Kind of hard to tell with these bays though. The red bays are much harder to tell when they're spinning. We're not spinning. Man, this thing is crazy. Hmm. That was me. Surprising amount of life after death. Yeah, it's doing all right, it's doing all right. I think it's just the kind of wide cone there on yeah. the base. Three, two, one. Three. I'm liking the aggression that it pushes out. It's cool. I think if there was knockout pockets, this thing would be a beast. There's no knockout pockets. It's doing all right against Achilles. It's taking Achilles out. We'll find a little death spiral there. <laughs> all right. Let's try it with the mode off. So that puts me into a defensive state and you also into a defensive state. So now we'll both be defense based. You on Giga, me on Dequinox or something like that. Three, two, one, three. Ooh, big hits. So your opposite spin defense types, which is an interesting matchup you don't get very often. So you're getting a lot more movement and a lot more hits against me. Ooh, but I took it. Three, two, one. This Stellar seems quite good at winning in the last couple of seconds of yeah. a fight, even though it doesn't seem like it's holding itself that well together. But it could just be the color combo that makes it look more wobbly than it is. Maybe. I mean, it's definitely a wobble. 
But I think due to one side being gold and one side not, it looks like it's losing more spin more often mm. because one side's gold and you can see that gold side moving around. Yeah. Where the other ones are more mirrored. So that's supposed to be reminiscent of the metal. The rubber and metal yeah, side, right? Yeah. Rubber side, metal side from Super. Yeah. Three, two, one. Here. ones that are mirrors like zeal here it looks like it's staying stable longer but i think they're actually at the same sort of level rate yeah, maybe. yes all so right so absolutely crushed it let's see if my attack side can handle a defense type let's put this up against chain your base three two one <laughs> So what I want out of this is I want Chain to win. And it's looking like that's quite likely. And I want that because I want defensive types to work. <laughs> Three, two, one, strip. That's a little bit better. Oh, and I take the win. Three, two, one, strip. And a win for me. Three, two, one. Strip. I lost a lot there, but I seem to have some excellent ability to deal big chunks of damage. I don't think it'll turn out this time. You taking the win. Two to two. Three, two, one. And you do take the win there. All right. So let's try. I'm going to swap my base, but you're going to stay the same. Okay. I want to see how my defense handles your defense. Three, two, one. Three. I see Stellar as having the opportunity to be a high counterattack base defense type. That can really destabilize enemies when they catch so on the big waves. So just the shape that it has. As it's spinning in the right, it has these two anchor points here that enemy bay parts can get stuck in and caught onto. And then because of the braking mechanism, I don't move as much. So I, you catch into there, I don't move as much and you move more and that does more damage to you than it does to me. It should do recoil damage to me, but we're just not seeing that with this really high burst, burst resistance. Yeah. Three, two, one. When you're not worried about bursts at all, defense types increase quite a bit in strength. Because usually their shape causes too much recoil upon themselves. Taking that win. And we know Chain is pretty strong. Chain has been a solid defensive contender here in Quad Strike. Three, two, one. Three. And all of the victories over here to Stellar Hyperion. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, can its defensive base handle an attack type? We're gonna go up against Trident Curbeus. Three, two, one. Trident Curbeus, ooh, bursted. I was about to say it has really good aggression and good speed, but I tore it apart. What I think happened was that the Trident section here managed to go into one of my joints and that just caused me rotating to do way too much recoil damage and just tear them apart. Three, two, one. Well, I take three points there. Pretty good, pretty good. Flat Bay is working awesome. I think it's a fantastic pickup, awesome bay good parts, and it's just working really well together compared to the other Quad Strike base combos. Let me know what you think here of Stellar Hyperion and if you're gonna wanna give this bay a shot in your collection.